Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Do It Yourself Designs. My name is Marcia. I'm here again with another cycling idea. And another shirt, as you can see here, is a mount shirt, quite long sleeves, big, large size. So I've just got checks on it. And I was looking at the mag magazine. Is Hello Fashion in September ish issue. And it's showing here some trends for the autumn winter. And I found a dress, a check dress on the Dior section, which is supposed to be very trendy for the autumn winter. And I'll show you the picture of the dress that I'm trying to sort of get inspired by that one. So it's got um, a check top and the section for the skirt is like it goes in a different direction I will try to copy the color is not exactly the same but it's within the check sort of uh, idea uh, autumn winter so but you can see here there's also a blue uh, jacket there so it's all to do with checks in the Dior range mix of checks and fringes and all these other little details so I'm quite excited about this project and I hope I manage to adjust this to the Dior design and I'll try to put my little imprint on it and let's get started the first thing to do is remove the collar from the shirt so I'm going to cut close to the edge but leaving a little bit of seam allowance just in case I want to reuse it again later on now I'm cutting the sleeves off after I'm picking the pocket and the sleeves I'm removing the collar now I'm going to cut the side seams I'm measuring uh, from uh, a dress that I have uh, the length of the neck area to the waist area I'm going to mark a line here on the front of the shirt where is my waist length and then I'll mark it and I'll cut it across so uh, 35 centimeters and I need to allow for seam allowance so a little bit of seam allowance here on the top and here as well so I'll mark around here at uh, 37 centimeters and I'll, then I'll cut across Now I'm measuring at the back of the dress to see where I should cut at the back of the shirt the length of the where the waist should be. So it, here it says 38 centimeters. So I'm going to allow a little bit for seam allowance, and I'll put a line all across there. I have the bodies uh, of the dress here on my dress form. I put it inside out to make it easier for sewing afterwards. I put the pins here on the dark area for the purse here at the front and on the sapphire as well, the other side. On the bust area as well, I put some pins and on the side seams here. The, uh, the shoulder seams are the original seams, I haven't touched it. And here's the placket in the middle. I put it inside out, you can't see very well. So I'm going to try it on and to see if that is okay. And then I'll, so I'll start sewing. But I must try it on my body first, just to make sure everything is okay. And it fits me perfectly. So I'm trying the body still with the pins on and it's on the right way round now 
and I'm quite pleased with the fit so I'm going to go in the machine now and sew it. my shirt back here on the dress form and I decided to add some darts here at the back as well just to give a little bit of shape yeah and I'm going to cut the SS fabric I already saw the side seams so I'll cut the SS fabric now I'm going to measure about 10 centimeters from the neck edge to the edge of the sleeve here um, because it, otherwise it would be too long here at the end, uh, it would be very a sloppy shoulder so I'm going to measure it and I'm going to cut across I unpicked the cuffs from the sleeves and now I'm going to cut both sleeves in half very close to the seams that are already there. I cut the sleeves in half and I took the section for the sleeves for the dress out of it. And now I'm going to use this here for the skirt. This is the bottom section of the shirt which was left over after I cut out the top. So I'm going to uh, take away, there's a pocket here for the buttons, so I will need that at the front, front of the skirt of the dress. So I'll try to leave a little bit of seam allowance here, so I can attach it to the skirt section. So I'll be cutting around following that line there, that's in the pattern. a skirt that I have to cut a pattern out of it for the bottom of the dress and uh, I'm using the sleeves I put them right sides together and now I'll put my skirt on top and I'm going to follow all around to cut a pattern out of it I'm allowing a little bit of seam allowance here at the front because I'll need to sew it together in two pieces. Now here I got the section from the bottom of the dress and where I removed the placket which I will reintroduce again afterwards. And I joined it together on the sideways here, like that. I'll try to match the pattern. And I got the other section as well, which is part of the bottom of the shirt. Now I'm going to join them together to make uh, one piece of fabric so I can cut the front section of the skirt in a, that direction sort of crisscross pattern here at the bottom of the skirt so that's what I'm going to try to do here's the skirt that's going to be attached to the bodies of the dress if you can remember I joined the sleeves together and you can see here that this is the section of the cups which made it quite an interesting detail here at the back so I joined it and pressed it and here is the front section of the skirt. Uh, I had to add an extension to the placket because it was too short. It would have stopped there, so I used the cuff to attach to there to make it longer. So I'm going to sew there. And I'm going to sew here as well. So I have sewn the placket here in the middle of the skirt and I have pinned into the bodice and trying to match 
So I will be sewing there and I will be sewing at the back as well, it's all pinned up. And then I will finish off by sewing the side seams of the skirt. Now I have attached the bodies to the skirt all around the waist area. Sleeves for the part of the main sleeve on the shirt, so it's exactly the right size, the same size. I didn't cut anything from it apart from that section which I used for the skirt. So I added a line into it here. I sewn it on the edge and I pressed it. And then, as you can see here, I already pinned in place. And then I'm going to sew that section. The collar piece I attached back on again. I left a little bit of seam allowance here when I cut it originally, so I could reattach again. So it's all pinned, ready for sewing. I wore a bias binding. Any material you can make a bias binding. If you cut across, it makes it quite stretchy. And you call it bias binding. Fold it first. Throw it there on the edge. Then when you turn it over, it will be a nice finish there. And then you sew the bias binding all over the collar piece until we reach the other side. Just so in the sleeves now. Now I'm sewing the collar back into place. Now I'm going to add the bias binding into the shirt here at the collar area. Here's the placket at the front at the edge. Here's the bias binding. I fold a little bit here on the edge. Pin it there. Right on the edge so it's very close to the original edge of the shirt. Pin it there. Pin all around neck edge and then sew. I folded the edge here, reaching the other side. Okay, it's the bottom placket. So I'm going to sew right to the end. Now I'm going to fold it and then I'll have a nice neat edge here. I have cut two pieces of fabric out of the scraps of the materials, about 13, 13 by 9 centimeters and I added some interfacing on the other side because I'm going to make a, a flap for the pocket at the top and uh, just like in a picture of um, your dress so i have sewn the edge here there pinned in place as you can see about the distance about the second button so the flap will be in line with the second button and then i'll be sewing there in that area there and then i'll press it so it will lie flat like that and also I will be putting a press stud here on the top because there's a little bit of a gap there between the top and the first button so I will need uh, one of these uh, snap fasteners there Now I'm top stitching the flap from the other side after I pressed it flat now on the right hand side of the fabric
fabric to go at the hem of the dress to finish it off because the dress is has, it's not very long so it would just sew here on the edge all the way around the hem and then I'll turn it over afterwards. Just folded the edge and now I'm ironing the band for the hem and I'm going to pin all around as I iron because I think I'll be finishing by hand because it will be a better finish. Press it and pin it all around the edge. Yeah. I love this dress so much that since I finished filming this uh, video, I decided to go in the shop and buy some material uh, of similar fabric of the original one and make it longer. The, a longer version of the dress like it was in the original Dior uh, dress so um, I went in the shop and bought it and I'm going to start it from scratch from the beginning I got some pattern and partial dress so I decided to use the, on the pattern this skirt is completely different so I will be using my own skirt and I'll cut it on a bias as it is on the original dress that's why it has that crisscross effect so I'll be doing that Markings into the pattern from the pattern into the fabric so I can sew it afterwards. Because the original dress was cut on a bias, so I'm, I put the fabric on a bias and I'm cutting now. I'm adding extra length. So just measure yourself and see the length that you need to add at the end so it will be quite long. Cutting the side of the front so I will insert the placket, the bottom placket afterwards. I already put the pins for the dart so I will be sewing that very soon. Cut the collar piece using the pattern paper and now I'm going to use pattern for the sleeve that came with the pattern for the shirt dress so I'll be cutting all around now I'm also going to cut this sleeve much shorter length just like the Dior dress I already pinned the sleeves to the dress and the button, button placket at the front I put some interfacing on it and I pinned one side and I have sewn the other side already so now it's just finish it off press the edge there, fold it and then top stitch at the front on both sides I will add button holes and buttons afterwards the interfacing and sewn the collar pieces and now I'm sewing into the dress at the top I pinned it first and I'll be sewing soon and there on the edge 
I'm trying to squeeze in between the bottom placket there as you can see so have a nice edge after they sewing the collar into place now I'm going to iron make sure it's nice and flat everywhere nice and neat just iron there and I'm going to fold over pin it and then I will hand stitch slip stitch nice and neat around the area now I have two dresses one made out of material and another one made out of recycled shirt it's amazing I'm very pleased with the, this version of the Dior dress the red one and uh, the longer length as well and uh, we got some materials as, as you saw me doing it uh, I started it from scratch really because I love so much this design I just want to see show you the length it's done here you can see it's a much longer length and it's quite sexy as well because it's got the split here at the front so it's quite pretty you're wearing boots in the winter and you can wear also in the summer it's a very versatile dress really I just uh, tried to copy as much as I could of the original design and uh, really I think I managed uh, to achieve it and what do you think? It's, doesn't it look pretty? this section of the skirt is stuck on the bias that's why it's got that crisscross sort of uh, contrast in comparison to the top I also managed to put some pockets in it which it makes it an interesting feature. I love dresses with pockets because sometimes you just look, put your hands in the pocket and oh, you can put something keys on it or even your mobile phone. Okay. I don't know if the version of the original dress uh, had pockets, but uh, I don't think you do any harm. Just put a little bit of input into it. So I hope you like it. Look at that. Here's the final dress, my friends. I managed to make a Dior inspired dress out of a month's shirt, upcycling again, one more time. I'm really happy with it, with the result. And um, you can see here the sleeves are very similar to the original one. And the, the pocket flaps here and the bottom front, of course, it is a, a short dress. So it's very fashionable at the moment for the autumn winter range, as you, you can see in the, all over the magazines at the moment and uh, in the Dior show as well. You saw a lot of uh, short dresses. So it's a perfect time for you to go in a charity shop and pick up a shirt or get one of your a member of your family and upcycle it into a nice, beautiful, pretty short dress. I hope you, I hope I managed to inspire you to make another one like this. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel so next time you'll be notified when I post another video and you also help my channel grow. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye bye for now.